suppose I wanted to use pl these place value disks to represent the problem 146 plus 87. Now, here's our original 147, 140, uh, oh, I said 147, I meant 146, 146, and now I want to add in 87. So of course we're going to be building on the fact that we, we understand what 87 means. 87 means we have eight tens, and of course we're going to have seven ones. So there's our eight tens, and then we're going to have seven ones. And uh, by the way, you'll notice I'm putting everything in five groups because I'm honoring all the work that has come before me, uh, particularly with the kindergarten and first grade and the work they did with the 10 frames, right? So I'm putting everything in my little five groups. So now I've got 100, I'm, I'm modeling, or I'm representing in the concrete 146 plus 87. Now it's time for me to bundle and unbundle, or sometimes I say cash in. Hello. And uh, that's how we're going to represent the addition that's going on. So we understand that any time we have 10 of one number, we can cash it in for one in the next value over, the next value larger. So 10 ones equals 110. So we could start to recognize that, oh, we definitely have 10 ones. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these ten ones, I'm going to cash in for a ten. Boom. There we go. And now I can see, do I have enough tens to cash in? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, yes we do. So these ten tens, these ten tens can be cashed in for a hundred. So here's my hundred. So these ten tens go away because I'm cashing them in for one hundred. And now it doesn't look like we have any more values that could be cashed in. So I can see that we end up with two hundreds, three tens, and three ones. So over here initially I'm just going to record the answer. 233. 233. And we're going to get our kiddos to be practicing just going from the concrete and then recording their answer over here. From the concrete to recording over there. If I want to show the concrete and the abstract at the same time, I, I can record my thinking over here as we work. So. Here we go. We're going to take a look and we're going to see that we have, I don't know, how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, because of course we're adding here. So we have 13 ones. And we know that we can cash in 10 of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can cash in these 10 for a 10. I can cash in these 10 ones right here. These 10 ones can be cashed in for a 10. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to cash it in for a 10. In fact, I'll put it down here so that we can see it. And then what do we have left? What do we have left? Well, we have three ones left over and we have a new 10. So how am I going to record that over here? Well, we know that 7 plus 6 is 16 because that's what we saw over here. I mean 13. 7 plus 6 is 13. And we have these three ones left over because we cashed one in. We uh, cashed 10 of them in for a 10. So what do we have over here? We're going to have one brand new 10 and it doesn't matter where I put it. I'll put it right here. One brand new 10 and we have these three ones left over. Boom. And that's, that's what we're seeing. So now our concrete matches our abstract. So now I'm going to take all of our tens and see if we can cash in some tens for a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus the new one is thirteen. All right. So that's over here, the abstract. That's four plus eight. That's four plus eight. That's our twelve plus the new one 
is 13. So we have 13 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can cash in 10 tens for a brand new hundred. So what is that going to look like over here in our abstract? Well, we knew that we had four tens plus eight tens plus a new ten, so that was 13 tens. We cashed in 10 of those tens for a brand new hundred. There it is. So I'm going to record that right here. And we have our three tens left over. And so now when we add our hundreds together, we only have two so there's our answer 233. So you can see the parallelism as we move from the concrete to the abstract. Concrete, abstract.